In this video, we will learn how to calculate exponential decay in purchasing power. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice using the exponential decay formula to model how the value of a dollar can decrease over time due to inflation. Inflation is the rate at which the value of a currency is falling. If the value of your currency decreases, so does the purchasing power of your money over time meaning that $5 in the past will actually be able to buy less as time goes on. This is an important concept to understand so you can make decisions on where to save or invest your money to outpace inflation. Inflation rates change year to year, but over the long term can be modeled using exponential decay. What is exponential decay? When something is decaying exponentially, this means that the original amount is reduced or decreased with the passing of time. You may be familiar with exponential growth from our other video, so exponential decay is just the opposite of that. The formula for exponential decay is the same as exponential growth, but instead of a growth factor, we will use a decay factor. So we have y equals a times b to the x power, where y is the total, a is the initial and principal amount, B tells us the rate at which something is decaying, and the exponent of X tells us for how many years. Let's try this example. Your cousin hid away $100 somewhere in the garage when you were younger. You're cleaning and finally found the money in an envelope hidden under a shelf eight years later. Over the past eight years, yearly inflation has averaged to 2.3%. So how much is that $100 worth today? The first step we can do is to identify our variables and substitute them into the formula. For the exponential decay equation, we need the initial amount, decay rate, and amount of years. Our initial principle is $100, so I'll plug that in for A. Our decay rate, B, actually requires a couple of steps here. We know that our inflation rate is 2.3%, so we can subtract 100% this represents our whole initial amount, minus the inflation rate of 2.3%. Note that we are subtracting from 100 because we are measuring decay. This gives us 97.7 as our decay rate. But in our equation, we must use decimal form. So 97.7% written as a decimal is 0.977. And the last variable to plug in is the exponent of x, which we know is 8 years. Now that we have accurately identified and substituted our variables into the formula, we can now use order of operations to calculate. According to order of operations, we must first carry out the exponent, so we can just drop and keep the 100 for now. 0.977 raised to the eighth power is equal to 0.8301-49881. In order to get the most accurate value, I will round at the very end of my calculations to the nearest whole dollar. The last operation I have left is multiplication. So we can multiply 100 and 0.83014988, which gives us 83.0149881. This means that the $100 your cousin set aside eight years ago has decreased in value to now only being $83 due to inflation that's money out the window. Because the value of your $100 decreased, you have less purchasing power and can buy less with that same amount of money today than you would have been able to eight years ago. All right, here's a recap on calculating exponential decay. First, you must correctly identify and substitute the variables that you need, in this case, initial principal, decay rate, and time in years. Remember to convert your decay rate from a percent to a decimal. Then you can use order of operations to carry out exponents first, multiplication next. Finally, you can frame your solution in the context of the problem, seeing how the value of your money decreases over time due to inflation. Go ahead and pause the video to try this next practice problem. Let's say that you waited 16 years to clean the garage. If the inflation rate remained the same, how much would that $100 be worth 16 years later? Great work on learning how to calculate exponential decay in purchasing power. Continue on to this practice problems on your worksheet. You got it.